So welcome to Marty's Garden, your worm farming video cheat sheet. Thanks for coming to check out this course. My name's Marty Ware, I'm an agricultural horticulturist from Australia with over two decades experience in organic gardening and a decade of worm farming. And I do it at home in small systems and large outside in windrows and things like that and use it actually to farm food to go for restaurants and different places. And I just love worms. But when we're looking at small spaces, what we wanna do is look at a small worm farm or a couple of worm farms to produce a lot and a lot of great fertilizers and biology that we can use in our small space or urban organic garden. Now I have about three, I have four setups actually. I've got a hungry bin and then I've got three the small tiered plastic worm farms, which I really, really love. I've been using them uh, for years. You can pick them up secondhand around the place because people are having always have problems with their worm farms and they just get the gist of it and they throw them out. So look for them in secondhand shops and online and stuff and you can pick them up real cheap and get going. So why do you need one? Well, they are a great way to recycle all your materials that you've got in your house, such as cardboard and newspaper, veggie scraps, you know, tea bags, bits of coffee, things like that. And it's not going into the bin and then off to the landfill using up all this vital energy that the councils need. And, you know, we're, we're creating our own sustainability on site and turning it into unreal awesome fertilizers that grow plants that I like to call super plants. And when you're using it at the beginning stage for your seedling stage, the worm castings, what they do is they protect the seedling uh, the seed around the outside from pathogens and things like that so you don't need to sterilize your potting mixes and things it actually protects it from anything and sets up the microbiology so there's a better balance of good organisms within the soil and surrounded around that root zone and when we're making our worm farms work properly then they're going to create that awesome awesome fertilizer the worm cast for you some worm tea and some liquid and things that are coming out of the worm farm. 